what's going on everybody this is john j gaming on the mic here coming at you with a brand new episode of the south louisiana dynasty here on maximum football featuring that ps5 of course man so i am excited for really this regular season finale man it's gonna be a good one so make sure you smash that like button hit me up down in the comments and also if you're brand new and you like college football content like this hit that subscribe button as well it helps the channel out it helps the brother out in general but this is our last game of the regular season we are taking on the tampa bay stallions and as of right now we're looking pretty good within our conference we're seven and four um we're sitting in second place as of right now we got a one game lead ahead of dayton and philadelphia which we did beat dayton earlier this season actually a couple episodes ago you want to go ahead and check that out so right now things are looking good for us a win here would certainly make sure we go ahead and get ourselves into the conference championship game but at the national level things are looking a little different so as of right now this is where south louisiana is standing at the moment we are currently number 45 in the country we are not necessarily close to like the top 25 at least for this season but it's really important where we end up finishing because maximum football games are a little bit different we i'm pretty sure we need to at least finish in the top 50 in you know this 130 team league the fbs in order for us to go to a bowl game it's not a god-given right just because you know we hit that six win seven win ratio um benchmark before we go ahead and you know go to a bowl game that way you know rankings actually really matter because not everyone's going to get postseason action so if we win this game winning this game is really important for us to make sure that we solidify ourselves into a bowl game but yeah man let's go ahead and go play these tampa bay stallions let's see if we can finish this regular season on a high note all right man so you guys see where we're currently ranked as of right now it's pretty simple for us here, man. If we can win this game, we take care of business against Tampa Bay. We will be going bowling here in season number one. And it seems like George Niang really wants that bowl trip, wants to keep the season, wants to keep the dream alive, man. Huge game to start things out. As it looks like Tampa Bay seems like they're pretty content with going ahead and trying to load this box up. Let's see if we can make them pay for it. For yeah, but we can't get the pass off in time, though. They're going to sack us in the backfield, and it's a pretty big loss as well. So now a second and 15 that we have to deal with now. As we drop back, try to throw it over right-hand side. We had the slant pattern, and it is incomplete, unfortunately. So now a third and long coming up for us here. We're going to have to find a way to convert this. As we drop back the pass, we're looking around, trying to find somebody to get open, and... Oh, we had a guy open. That would have been the first down, but we have to go ahead and punt this football away to Tampa Bay. Well, they'll go ahead and experience their first possession, and we got them in pretty deep and pretty far in their own territory. They have quite a way to work before they even start thinking about trying to go ahead and put some points on the board against us. As now, third and short coming up here. Let's see if they try to run it up the middle. And they will end up actually running with the football. And we just didn't have enough guys in the box at the end of the day. I, I figured they, they're more of a pass-happy kind of squad. So that's why I didn't have as many people in the box there. But, yeah, they certainly made us pay for it there early. As Tampa Bay, you know, showing some efficiency with the passing attack here early on. Marching it down the field. And they, they already got themselves a couple of first downs. And definitely outside of the end zone or the shot of their own goal line. We'll see if we can get our defense to tighten up here as we do see an uh, incompletion thrown on the second and ten as we do end up getting them to a third and long eventually. But we already allowed one third down conversion though. Let's see if we have a little bit better luck this time around. Is Dodd going to throw over the middle? It's going to be completed. And on top of that, they're going to get a pass interference as well. So... Even if uh, there wasn't a flag, they would have still gotten that first down. Anyways, but how about this? To stop the drive in their tracks, able to go ahead and get a fumble. You absolutely love to see it. That's how you go ahead and stifle the momentum. Now we got this football back in our hands now as we got a first and long that we're going to have to deal with because one of our offensive linemen 
Thought it would be a really good idea to hold the guy, but the refs caught it. And now first and 20. Going to drop back the pass here. Throw over the middle. We find our tight end, Ross. And Ross is actually going to be able to make some guys miss here. He is able to get out of there and get to the end zone. Oh, my. Touchdown, South Louisiana. And the Saints are going to go ahead and strike first here. Is now we'll see second and nine coming up here after we got that huge touchdown that allows us to strike first here and their passing attack is just picking up right where they left off on the last drive I'm surprised that they kind of went away from it as the drive went on I don't, I don't know what they were thinking there but right now we are definitely struggling a little bit with dealing with this passing attack and this could be troublesome well is Thankfully, our safety is able to come up in there and make the tackle. But, oh, man, that was a tough one to accept. It's now first and 10. Dodd dropping back. Throwing over to left-hand side. And, wow, I don't even know how that managed to get through there. I was there. I was there to make a play. But they don't want us to be great. Maximum football does not want us to be great right now. As we end up giving a touchdown on the very next play. And so Tampa Bay... They come through with a great response after a turnover gives seven points for us. And all of a sudden, this thing is all tied up at seven apiece here. But they still got to go ahead and kick it back off to us. And y'all already know, we got, in my opinion, one of the best special teams units in the entire country. Kenny Wells is a bad man, and they just kicked to him. Time to make him pay for it. Able to get upfield. Has one man with the beat, and... He gets brought down at midfield, but you can see how dangerous our special teams is. They have certainly helped us win some games. I'll tell you what, and gives our offense some great space to work with here is Anderson. He can do some good stuff over as well. He's actually trying to take this to the crib, and he's going to do so literally on the very next play. Anderson... Able to go ahead and run it into the end zone. Touchdown, Saints. And just in a blink of an eye, we get a second touchdown on the board before the end of this first quarter. Let's see if we can keep that intensity up, get some bigger drives too. As now we'll go ahead and get the second quarter underway, and we'll actually get a little bit of love from our defense. Our defense actually forces a free and out, so we have a really nice chance to go ahead here and Really try to go ahead and open this game up here before we go ahead and go into halftime. We do get the ball to start the second half. Let's we'll see if we can get this first down, though. Third and long. Going to throw over to the left-hand side. We find Davey Smalls on the sideline. Let's we'll see if he can get that last block. Oh, man. If he got that last block, he was going to be gone as well. Getting a bunch of big plays downfield. As now, second and 12. We got a five wide set. We throw over the middle to Carl Gentry. And he fumbles the football. Oh, you can not be serious right now, man. We had a phenomenal drive going in. We turned the ball over like that. You absolutely hate to see it. But now our defense needs to come through and get a stop so that momentum can at least still stay in our direction. Although Fred is actually going to try to take this outside, but... Try to bounce it back in. Thought he had more blockers on the interior, I guess. As now, we got a third and five coming up here. Looks like a free wide set. Back in the uh, the backfield under shotgun. Is now, third and five. Dodd, he's actually going to toss it out. It's going to be another fumble. We don't recover it. But that being said, we do force him to punt this football away. And we actually got some really good field position off the punt as well. Inside their territory. And we already know our rushing attack is more than capable of marching down this football field. We got less than two minutes left, but I'm not even worried about it right now. Although we will pass here on second and nine as Anderson. He's looking around, seeing if he can find somebody. He's going to try to throw it towards the sideline. Finds the tight end, Julian Ross. Once again, another first down for him. And now, another second down here. We still have all three timeouts for us to work with here. Trying to throw it over the middle. Gets it out to the senior, Brown. Who picks up a gain of eight. Still want to wait to use my timeouts here. Because I want to try to go ahead and at least try to, you know, run some time off the clock before we go ahead and get ourselves into the locker room here. 
But we'll see what ha happens, though. As we do have a first and goal from the two-yard line. If we don't punch it in, we can always start using timeouts then. But no need for the timeouts. We can just quarterback sneak it with Damian Arms. Anderson. And it's a two-touchdown lead. So here we go. 21-7. And we actually get ourselves yet another free and out. We got two timeouts to work with as well. So we got three attempts towards the end zone as we almost found a way to connect on that play. It's incomplete. But we still got seven seconds left. We got at least we got two plays, I think, you know, if we want to try to get this to the end zone. I'm trying to be aggressive. But that being said, having a little bit of hard time connecting. So now we're just kind of trying to chuck it. See if we can get something to happen here. Calling on the tight end seems it's treated us pretty well in the past. As Anderson, he's got time in the pocket. He's going to throw it over in the middle. Finds Reddish, who gets behind the defense. And before the halftime buzzer, we get another touchdown on the board. And we do end up going into the locker room with a commanding lead. We will be up 28-7. And we get the ball to start the second half. Third quarter is going to be coming to you shortly. Let's see if we can finish these guys off. Maybe get the backups in. So here we go, man. Second quarter now officially underway. And what's so great about this commanding lead that we got going on right now, they kicked the ball back over to us so we could really open up a can of pain on these guys. You know, in our regular season finale, really make a statement before we go to conference championship week. And this is exactly what I'm talking about, though. Wells is going to take this all the way. To the sideline, yet another touchdown, and it's gonna be 35 to seven here, man. Let's go, baby. We're just out here dominating guys right now, and another free and out two to go with it. Oh, don't mind if I do. We gotta take a shot, man. We we have to go ahead and take a shot with how momentum's been for us. Somebody does get loose trying to get it out to the left hand side, but it ends up being intercepted. Davies Smalls could not win the one-on-one -on -one battle on the outside. Maybe a little too much to ask because we don't have the tallest receivers. Hopefully, this recruiting that we got going on, that fixes that in the future. But, man, we really could have went ahead and really opened things up. It's all right, though. We're still up by 28 points. It, honestly, it's really hard to complain when we're up by 28, especially we get plays like this where Perry just goes in there and blows the whole play up. As we got third and 12 now coming up. Looks like a five wide set. We'll see if this is some kind of quarterback draw. It does have numbers on the inside. And they're actually not going to scramble on the quarterback draw. They're going to throw it over the middle. And our guys cannot catch up in time. So we had a third and 12. And we end up giving up a first down anyways. That's tough. That, that would throw me. You know, crazy. As a defensive coordinator, we also almost give up a really big touchdown. We actually got really lucky there as well. That could have easily been six points, but instead, it's third and seven. Let's see if we can get him off the field this time. As now, Dodd going to throw over the middle. It connects with his receiver, Scott, and it's going to end up being yet another first down for the Tampa Bay Stallions. And so two big third down conversions keeps the drive alive for the Stallions who are looking for their second uh, touchdown of this entire game is now second and one. They're going to no, it's going to be a play action. Going to throw it towards the end zone and it's incomplete. Our safeties, thankfully, for ready for that. We'll see if they try to pass this football again. Hopefully this third time is a charm, though. We can actually get these guys off the field here. But it's a much shorter third down, though. Although they will try to run it. And we stop them before they get to the first down marker. Let's go, baby. And they actually also decide to punt the football away. I I don't get this game, man. You know, ho hopefully, like, some of these things will be addressed in the next installment of Maximum Football. Because, like... If it's 4th and 1 from the 29, you're not punting. Like, you're at least going for it if you believe in your kick. If you don't believe in your kicker right that. But, hey, it is what it is, though. I'm not going to necessarily complain as much because, you know, it helps us a little bit. We still have a pretty big lead to work with. But Tampa Bay is really trying to get some points on the board here. As Dodd's going to throw to the right-hand side. But it's fumbled, and we get another 
fumble recovery. Oh my goodness. This has been a great statement for us right now. Way to go ahead and really go about setting a massive statement here in our regular season finale. And we're not even done yet. Anderson almost broke that one to the house. He was so cool. If that one person didn't dive tackle, he was... That was barbecue chicken. That was going to be a touchdown, man. But instead, Anderson trying to run away from pressure. Ends up getting sacked, though. And it's going to be a big third down for us. Third and 17. Anderson's been pretty solid through the air, but... Now it's an obvious passing down. Needs somebody to win. And no one's winning on the route. going to try to chuck it downfield. And it's going to be incomplete. Not really much that we can go ahead and do there. But even though we didn't really score beyond the kickoff return, we still had a great quarter up by 28. Let's see if we can finish this game strong, though. Fourth quarter coming up. So let's go, baby. Fourth quarter. Let's get those fours up in the chat or in the comments. So we try to go ahead, try to stuff. Tampa Bay here make a statement in this game before we go ahead and go into our conference championship matchup whether that be against Dayton or whether that be against Blues Capital you know we'll see what ends up happening although this one's actually going to be a pretty big run and I hit the wrong button on accident oh my goodness oh I need to get a lot better at playing defense in maximum football I tell you what man that should not have been a touchdown <laughs> straight up and down like I can't even blame that on this unlike the player itself you know what i'm saying like that was just me being a dumbass like straight up and down excuse my language y'all but yeah they're gonna also try to go for a two-point conversion which it's really interesting uh they don't get it though so we still got a big lead 35 to 13 but our offense has really struggled in this fourth quarter for sure we actually end up going free and out ourselves as dodd He's going to go ahead and just run this thing right up the middle of the field. It's going to end up picking up a gain of eight. It's now second and short now coming up here as Dodd. is going to drop back the pass, try to throw over the middle. Gets it out to Scott again, and I hit the wrong button once more. Thankfully, we had a gang of South Louisiana tacklers to try to go about uh, making sure we get off the field. Or, or at least, you know, not give up another touchdown, but... Yeah, man, this Tampa Bay squad, they still got a lot of fight in them. They're not going to give up even though we got this massive lead on them. We'll see if they can get some more points on the board as second down comes up. It is a, they can keep connecting on these slant patterns, man. We're having a rough time with it. Regardless of whether we're in zone or if we're staying in man coverage. As is a goal line situation here. Second and goal is Dodd's going to try to throw for it. And it's going to be incomplete. So third and goal coming up here for us. Let's see if our boys can go ahead and not break, but, you know, showing a little bit of bending for sure. And we do actually end up going ahead and getting that stop. And, you know, force fourth and goal. And you would think if you're down as much as Tampa Bay would be down right now that they would go about, uh, I don't know, maybe actually uh, trying to get a touchdown on the board, try to get into his gap just a little bit more. As now we'll go ahead, see a field goal. As okay, that's that's fine. We're we're still up 35 to 16. As we'll go ahead and see what Tampa Bay can do here on the kickoff. As we go ahead and see what's going down right about now. As Wells is gonna go ahead. He's gonna take this kickoff. And is this gonna be another touchdown? Is this gonna be another touchdown? Are we gonna see it? Oh baby! Oh baby! It's a one-man foot race. He's got some speed on him, but not enough to catch our guy, Kenny Wells. It's another kick return for a touchdown, his second one on the day. And, yeah, this is going to be just a formality at this point. 42 to 16 at this point. Now I'm just going to try to go ahead and try to run out this clock as that's not going to help. Uh, holding penalty, that's going to at least stop the clock for us. And going to make it a first and longer, but... I'm going to still try to go ahead and run with this football, man. We don't have any need to pass it. We we made our statement. We did exactly what we need to do in this ball game. And look at Tampa Bay. You're serious right now? You're going to call timeouts? Like, this game is over. This game is over, my guy. We are winning this football game regardless of whether you call our timeouts or not. Just don't call your timeouts. Let us go home. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, we can go about our day, but... Here you are, 
Still using your timeouts. You do it again. And I swear, if they call another timeout, I'm going to have to really be hellbent on getting some points on the board. I don't want to be a bad sport. I really don't. But if Tampa Bay's going to keep calling these timeouts like they just did right there, all right, it's time to open up the can again. Time to get more points on the board. That's how you're going to be. You just, uh, you just, uh, you just done messed up, my guy. You just done messed up, my guy. You just done messed up, my guy. Let's go, baby. First down. Stop playing with me, man. Disrespectful calling these timeouts on us. Down 42 to 16. Like, what is you doing, my guy? As Niang's going to keep it going for us here. Another six-yard gain on the ground. We're just pounding these guys into a brick wall. Just showing absolutely no mercy, as we should. As we'll go ahead, run with Anderson. It's going to be an easy touchdown for him. He doesn't even get touched. He doesn't get the uniform dirty, man. And I didn't want to do it. I didn't want to do that, but they made me do it. They made me do it to them. We end up tearing them apart in this game, man. Huge statement win. Going in the postseason play, we win this game by a final score of 49-16. to We didn't even have that many first downs. We only had eight first downs in this game. Only six for 18 for passing, but ground game was really good, and the defense was doing a really good job. Forcing turnovers and giving us great field position to work with. It's not like Tampa Bay wasn't bad on offense. They had 361 total yards, but they just weren't executing like we were. And now we go ahead, look towards whoever we got next week. We'll have to see whether it's Blues Capital or Dayton after we do some simming, which I'll do off screen. And then we'll find out who we got in postseason action, man. So I'll see you guys when I'm done with that. So look at what we were able to go ahead and accomplish here in season number one. We are going to the National Athletic Conference Championship game. And it's going to set up a little rematch for us here, man. We are facing the Blues Capital Governors. And if you guys remember, this was a team that finished in the top 25. You know, at least they are, like, they are sitting literally at number 25 right now. And, you know, we gave them a good fight, but we lost in the regular season. But we will have a second shot at them. So... With that being said, next episode, what we're going to end up doing is we are going to be taking on the Blues Capital Governors, the 25th ranked team in the nation, for the right to be the National Athletic Conference champion. And it's going to be a really good episode, man. I am super excited for it. And if you are as well, I need you guys to go ahead and do me a favor. Make sure you go ahead. Hit that like button for me. Hit subscribe as well if you do happen to be brand new. If you enjoy this video, you might like the other content that's on my channel as well. With that being said, this is John Jake on the mic signing off. I'm hoping you're all out there having a good one. Take care, everybody.